Hey y'all. So, I am in my yard. It is a blissful day, y'all. It is like pushing 70s. There's a nice breeze out. I love hearing the sweet hum of a um, power tool lawnmower <laughs> going in the back. As we know, people are still alive out here during these uh, coronavirus times, coronavirus shut in, because many of my neighbors are inside, y'all. And don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with being inside sometimes. But on beautiful days like this, oh, you just gotta come out and, you know, let your skin soak up the sun and let my melanin vibrate. <laughs> so, anyhow, so today I just wanna talk a little bit about edging. So I have been experimenting with a lot of different types of edging. So we are gonna go on a little tour of my yard, uh, really my front yard, because I don't have any edging in my backyard yet. Oh, I do, around my trees. But we're gonna go on a little tour and look at some of the different types of edging that I've used, and I'll let you know what I consider to be superior edging because not all edging is the same. I will tell you that. Um, some of them are just garbage, <laughs> honestly, for what I've needed them for. So um, I like to use landscape edging in my yard for various reasons. Um, I am getting used to it, so I'm not, um, this is my first year really using edging for anything. There are lots of things that I try in my garden and then I learn, hey, that is not the way to go. Um, I hope edging will not be one of them because I do like the results. I like the way it looks so far. Um, today I'll be completing some edging on a front yard, like kind of a side front yard design um, that I have on the corner. But uh, let's go take a look. Out here making these deliveries, y'all. UPS. All right. So, our first stop is to. Oh, that's better. Our first stop. Oh, well, let's say hi to the bump. Hey there. Our first stop is to look at this no dig edging okay this is the no dig edging oh try to get situated all right so this no dig edging really just means that you can set it on top and you don't have to dig down and i will say that digging down is a lot of work okay so you don't want to have to dig down all the time. I like to use this edging as a border between the sidewalk or the cement and whatever garden bed I'm using it for. Um, so I don't use this in the actual vegetable garden. I use this more for my front yard and around trees, especially trees that have shallow roots. It's really good to use this in because you're not concerned with digging up the roots in order to get the edging look that you want so this is really good I buy all my stuff on Amazon or Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that um, really wherever I can find it for the cheapest price so that's good for that let's keep going now this other edging I'm going to show you is this Okay, this edging right here, hopefully you can see that. This edging I got at Home Depot, and it's nice, but it is not the greatest edging. And the reason is because this part is just not as thick. And uh, you'll notice that in other places in my garden that I do have 
have some um, edging that where the top is rounded and it's really thick and it looks really nice and so I didn't realize the differences when I was buying it but now that everything's in I can definitely tell the difference so just keep that in mind and here you can see this is the border edging that I have that no dig edging because I think it just lines this area really nicely so those are the two if I could go back I would not have put that um, edging from Home Depot in because like I said I just don't think it looks as nice and my number one choice in my yard at least is this edging this is a royal diamond edging and you see this is a this is a dig edging anything that has this type of lip like this is a dig edging you have to dig it in um, but I really like it because it's thick it lasts and you don't have to worry about anything pushing through there but you do on the side you see you got some weeds still let's pull those up grass is the worst y'all anyhow this is the best edging that is my recommendation so look for um royal diamond i just actually ordered some more edging i think it looks really nice like i said it has a really good lip there's one more edging that i want to show you actually that i do not recommend oh, actually before we go on to that here is the royal diamond edging that's what it looks like so you have to dig it in any of the dig edgings will look similar to this and you have to dig them down um, which is why they're not really good for trees but our very last one is this super cheap and flimsy stuff I bought at Lowe's okay now this is a no don't use this it's so flimsy it's so cheap that when we put it in it didn't really hold the shape that we wanted very well and so I will be pulling this up and replacing it with um, that royal diamond edging that I was just telling you about so yeah those are the different types of edging that I've come across and that's what I think is best so I hope that helps send a picture leave a comment let me know what type of edging you use um, and just to note this is also like the cost efficient edging that I found there are better more superior edgings in terms of like if you use steel or something like that some kind of type of metal um, the way my bank account is set up <laughs> to quote Kevin Hart no but the way um, that we wanted to invest our finances was not in a um, metal edging we thought the plastic would be fine and it would last it's a good price and so it just worked out for us but all right y'all until next time don't forget to like comment subscribe and let me know what's going on with you all right y'all peace and love